What's up everyone, today we have a slightly different video where we will be taking one last look at Bonito Days, a game I reviewed at length earlier this year. The reason being, there has been an update with a decent amount of fresh content as of today, so let's take a look at what's been added. If you remember the concept from the original review, Bonito Days is a full-fledged game loosely inspired from the Monkey Target minigames of the old Super Monkey Ball games. You and up to three players will roll and glide your way through bright cartoony coastal based levels, collecting power-ups along the way before ending your flight along one of the many dartboard-esque targets. It's a mix of physics and exploration gameplay that quickly becomes competitive when playing with others or quite chill if playing on your own. My biggest gripe with the original release was that it was a bit shallow, especially for single player, and especially for a game that encourages you to get the highest point total possible, there was no way to save your score. Well, in steps this update, and with it comes 10 more levels, over 4 new Grand Prix style cups, more unlockables in the form of colors and patterns, and yep, a local high score leaderboard. It's hard to put an exact number on it, but you could say the content in this update almost doubled the amount of content from the original if you factor in the incentives to keep you playing. I do think the development team always planned for an update soon after release, as the previous menus always looked like they were missing something, as you can kind of see the blank space here, but for it to come as quickly as it did just a couple months after the original is awesome. In terms of the exact specifics of the update, you can see here that the additional levels add more layers of uniqueness, with some focusing on more verticality, or others requiring much longer flight times to collect as many items as possible. The camera controls have also been improved as well, which is not something I pointed out in my original review, but makes a noticeable difference here. I will say my favorite aspect of this update though has to be the addition of local high scores. Previously you could only really compete with friends in local multiplayer, but now I have way more incentive to keep playing in single player and is a game I still find myself returning to months after its release. In the end, this update honestly addresses almost all of the issues I pointed out in my original review. Not that there were that many to begin with. If I had to score the game over, I would probably bump it up to somewhere in the 90 range or upper 80s at least. It still might be somewhat of a niche game that I must be the perfect audience for, and this update won't necessarily change your opinion of the game, but it now feels like a completely finished product, and one that I have even more reason to return to, and plan on doing so quite often.